What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video, we got our best beginner's guide and we got a code for the brand new global launch of Astra Knights of Veta. Like and sub for more amazing gaming content. Let's go over our coupon code first. Now this one is a bit tricky, the way to do this. This game uh, got, some, got some interesting things going on with it. So first thing we gotta do is head on over to our settings icon. We're gonna go over to where it says our account. It's right behind where I'm sitting and we have our account code. And then we also have enter a coupon. Now, the first thing we have to do is we have to copy this code. Our account code is very important. You need this in order to enter our coupon code first. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna copy our account code. Then we're gonna click enter a coupon. And this is gonna open up a separate menu, basically another web page if you're on your computer or if you're on your tablet, it'll open up another page as well. So it's gonna look something like this. All right, so this is our redeem code. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna enter our account code right here. So I'm gonna control V that. I'm gonna click confirm. Please select the server, all right? So now we come over here and we're gonna choose Americas or Europe. I'm in the American server. I'm also gonna show you how to choose your server at the beginning in the main menu because by default, the game puts you in the opposite server, which is weird. When I first started the game, it had me defaulted to the Europe server. And I know a lot of people in Europe were defaulted to the American server. So keep watching and I'm gonna show you how to change that. So we're gonna enter our coupon code right here. Not sure if it matters, but I put all capital letters and it is gonna be Knights of Veta. We're gonna click register our coupon, see if it works. This is from the Discord. Your coupon reward has been issued. Please check your in-game mailbox. So it does work. All right, so back in our menu, we have our mailbox and we got right here, we got two summoning crystals. So that was pretty good. All right, so when you first start off the game, like I was talking about earlier, you need to make sure you choose the right server. Um, there isn't really a huge difference aside from the fact that if you have specific friends you wanna play with, you need to be on the same server. Also for PVP, I believe as well, it, there is no cross server. So whatever server you are in, you're gonna be doing PVP against people in the same server as you. So from this main menu in the bottom right corner, you're gonna see that it says server settings and exit. You're gonna click server and then just choose whatever server you wanna go ahead and play in. A character wise, I haven't had the greatest luck. I've only been able to do a few summons but from those summons, I've been experimenting with a few different types of characters. And the biggest difference I've noticed is a healer. I, I think having a healer on your team is a absolute must. I can't tell you how many times the healer has come in clutch from just healing up my entire team. And the way the healer works is, let's say you're doing solo mode, all you have to do is have the healer out or not necessarily even have the healer out. You could have another character out and when, when you see the little icon for their signature ability, once you activate this signature ability, it's going to heal all of the characters in your party for solo mode. I do highly recommend though that you use the co-op feature. I tried the two different ones, like doing a solo battle and then doing it on co-op. Oh my gosh, that is such a huge difference when you are playing on co-op. Co-op is like, amazingly better and it's just so much easier to kind of get through the maps you don't have to worry too too much about like dodging all the enemies attacks you can have one player be a tank and then you can legit just sit in the back as a dps attacking people and you don't have to worry about all the enemies focusing you. So co-op is definitely by far the most recommended way to play this game. The other thing that I also recommend is for your four characters that you're taking into battle, try not to take the same attributes. You do wanna have like a couple different attributes, specifically before you jump into a map, it actually shows you which attribute monsters you're going up against, and it tells you which attribute type of characters you should have. So just utilizing little things like that can make stages that are a bit tougher a lot easier. Early on, a lot of the monsters are weak to light. So if you can go ahead and you can have some light characters on your team, it helps out a lot. I have the light uh, DPS, and I also have a light healer as well. Typically, you don't have the healer out there to put damage. I just kind of use the healer to just heal up my team. But if you're doing something like co-op, it's not bad to go ahead and have like a healer just out there to heal your teammates. 
So see these little icons, the signatures pop up on the side. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna activate my healer's special ability right here, and it's gonna heal all, see, it's gonna heal all of my team members even though they aren't out. So that's kind of just how you heal as a solo player. You don't have to have any of your other characters out. Just pop that ultimate and then quickly just switch to someone else. That's like the best recommended way I would say to kind of heal your team. Just kind of activate their signature abilities as they pop up on that screen and then just quickly switch out with someone else. The other thing that I also noticed from playing this game is that you really need to be constantly switching your characters out. Having just one character out for a very long time, even like, you know, 30 to 45 seconds, I've noticed is very detrimental to your progression of destroying the monsters. You constantly want to be like flipping through your characters and putting out all their different special abilities or not even their special abilities, but each one also has like a regular ability. And he has an ability where he puts down like a crossbow turret. So what I'll do is I'll switch to him, put the turret down, and then I'll switch to someone else like a DPS or a tank. And that turret stays out there and I have an extra damage source out there on the battlefield. So constantly switching and rotating through your characters is really important in this game from what I've noticed. But that is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. Stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.